A list of the topics, themes, and subject matter featured in this episode has been included in the video description. Here we go. somehow strikingly familiar season <laughs> of Dimension 20. Here in the Dimensional Dome, I am your humble dungeon master, Brennan Lee Mulligan. With me as always are intrepid heroes. Say hi, intrepid heroes. Hi, hi intrepid heroes. heroes. Box out, box yeah, out, box them out, box them out. French press. <laughs> you guys know I just got it. And Barista I Emily. I'm spilling everywhere. <laughs> Why did you bring the whole thing? Because I need a sustained I want feature some. that is not as powerful as coffee. Yes. <laughs> hey, we're not going to knock sustained caffeine was, here on the show. Everyone makes fun empty. of me for my drinking vessel. No, that's, that's, <laughs> we've got a murky twig colored <laughs> pour over going into a ball jar. Doesn't it feel like the Piping apocalypse? Uh, <laughs> folks, uh, we welcome back once again to the world of Spire. That's right, it's Dimension 20 Fantasy High Junior Year. We're back here at the table, so we're going to start with an indecipherable <laughs> bit with no pre warning right away. Um, we'll just yeah, say this is not a criticism. The table's a little bit smaller. And you could potentially hold hands with anyone at the table. That's so true. That's true. Yeah. Wow, wow, beautiful. Uh -huh. Oh my god, this gorgeous. is so gentle. Em and I are gonna do this. <laughs> Stop hand touching holding. me. Uh -huh. Hand holding, hand holding, hand holding, hand holding. I put it right um, I'm being down. careful. Right <laughs> For those of you who are tuning in, uh, if this is the first episode of Dimension 20 you're watching, you got some stuff to catch up on because <laughs> these were all callbacks. <laughs> all callbacks. We return now to the world of Spire, a world of myth and legend, where dragons roam the skies and foul necromancers plot within the dark hallways of the Necronomicon. And all throughout, legend, adventure, magic, and myth reign supreme, with one little exception, which is the nation of Solace, a metropolitan, modernized, arcanotech country full of happy people working together from all the different various nations of the world of Spire are coming together and a specific uh, emphasis on a little town called Elmville. That's right, our hero's hometown and the home of the Egg Fort Adventuring Academy, Spire's premier high school for heroes. Legendary adventuring academy that has set forth time and time again, homes of our heroes, Mordred Manor, Strong Tower Luxury Apartments, Thistle Spring Tree, and perhaps even Seacaster Manor that we might see somewhere else. We don't, we don't, I don't know, I don't know. We don't know. I tell don't know. Us, tell us really Where quick. I don't. I can't because you didn't tell me. Wait, what? You live somewhere else now? <laughs> yeah, I moved. <laughs> you have to tell your friends when you move. Yeah, yeah. that's fucked up. My dad got a job in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Seacaster, your dead father, got a job in Cleveland. But we're all in Cincinnati. It's yeah. so far away. <laughs> I, I'll take the train on Saturdays. I swear. Uh, if you're tuning in, this is the beginning of the third season of Fantasy High Junior Year for our high school heroes and returning to none other than the bad kids. But where, I don't see the bad kids on here anywhere. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, we all die. Yeah, we, we all die. die. And, and we roll new characters. And we roll new characters. I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a turtle. Yes. <laughs> Not a turtle, a turtle. A turtle. A turtle. <laughs> You're just carrying him around everywhere. Uh, Put him on the floor. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, 
<laughs> Let me gear shift back into first gear. Here we go. Okay. And where are we? We are not in Elmville, nor in the Nation of Solace at all. Because last we left off, our intrepid heroes had just gotten word, I guess, that none other than the Night Yorb had exploded out of Riz's chest, out of the tattoo he got that said the Night Yorb with all of his clues, different kind of, he <laughs> just tattooed. Remember that? Memento style. style. Yeah. Had tattooed clues all over his body. And how can our intrepid heroes possibly defeat the Night Yorb that threatens to destroy your world? The presence of the Night Yorb casting all of Spire into unending night that over the course of weeks and months and maybe you know a year depending on the supply chain will eventually erode the agricultural base. There's no sunlight, photosynthesis. No! <laughs> no! Pops. A very slow apocalypse unfolds. I guess I still gotta go to work. Yeah. <laughs> so where are the bad kids? The bad kids are not in Elmville at all. They are in the heart of the Red Waste. Wow. Oh my goodness. Chasing down the Night Yorb. Ah. The Night Yorb. I feel it's like I'm in Utah. Us. Yeah. <laughs> Here we see before us racing down a highway deep in the thickness of the Red Waste, far beyond the borders of Solace, the Night Yorb. <laughs> a giant manta ray made of inky blackness with protruding tube-shaped eyes that pop out of tendrils at the front of its head made of pure night. An eldritch beast beyond dimensions of life and the material that surges forward, plunging the entire world of Spire into endless night. Plants dying, temperatures lowering, the mood of the population suffering with the lack of vitamin D, a slow rolling apocalypse that threatens all of the denizens of this world. And who can save them? That's right, the bad kids! Yeah. Um, there are so many cults dedicated to the Night Yorb, you know, the Chapel of Eternal Darkness, the Choir of Unending Night, etc. It goes on and on and on. So just there's a blanket term, which is Yorbies. There's Yorbies scattered around. Some of them are riding their Yorbie land mounts, these sort of insectile creatures native to the Red Waste. Uh, others of them have taken foot and are trying to block your path. What is established right now is the hangman surging ahead, Fabian's infernal motorcycle, and the hang van, Gorgug's celestial family van. On top of the hang van, we see creations of yours meant to finally end the chaos of the Night Yorb's reign. Your solar lasso created by the teamwork of the bad kids with a sigil capable of capturing the Night Yorb if you can weaken it enough and pull it in so that it is within five feet of the sigil. We're gonna go around and I just want everyone to reintroduce us to your character and you're gonna tell us your name and your class. Uh, up first, the arch devil of rebellion herself and front woman of Fig and the Sig Figs, Emily Axford, please describe your character. <laughs> <laughs> Figure out Faith is, I uh, didn't know we were going to do this. Figure out <laughs> Faith is a archdevil wizard's paramour. <laughs> yes, it's part of my identity. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, time has passed. I've changed a little bit. I think I'm rocking like a double neck base now. Sick. I'm wearing like a mic Wrong. cable as a choker. <laughs> 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 and uh, I think I'm shredding atop the sigil uh, of the of the hang band. It's junior year, baby. We're pulling out all the stops. Uh -huh. Do you think you're atop the sigil or atop the sigil on your skateboard? <gasps> I'm oh. on my skateboard, of course. <laughs> I had my skateboard <laughs> glued uh, to my combat boots. Uh, Balancing glued to my combat boots. <laughs> you are balanced. My shoes, I take off my skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> um, you like can just snow. get skates. Like, you can get roller skates. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Drummer for Fig and the Sig Figs, a member of the Egg Four Owl Bears, uh, and uh, the holder of the tin flower. Gorgug Thistle Spring. Oh. Gorgug is atop the van, manning the solar lasso that he and his friends made. I would say the biggest difference in Gorgug's appearance at the moment is he's got goggles on, and then it's just dust here. <laughs> that like, if you move the goggles up, you could tell that it's just his face has been absolutely, like he's that Burning Man or something. Like <laughs> Racing through an endless <laughs> desert. So anyone on top of the van is just sucking down gravel and dust. <laughs> but also also still like, uh -huh, like noticing the skateboard wheels just kind of like, <laughs> kind of crunching into the top of the van. Like, uh -huh. 
Ah, okay. That's fine. I know That's how to fine. fix it. Don't worry. Okay. Pour hot water on it and then just punch it back into shape. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that actually Trust sounds me. like it would work. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gorgog, here is your mini. Oh. Wow. And Gorgog, I should say, it's got like a little like he's slightly more artificer than he used to be. He's a, a seventh level barbarian uh, and then a third level artificer. So he's got a little bandolier of stuff, little gadgets and things. Oh. And uh, yeah, he's just trying to concentrate on on the night york. <laughs> you got to focus on this night york okay. astride the solar lasso that you have spent the last four months constructing. It's all leading up to this. <laughs> All exactly, N. Media Res. And helping you up on top uh, is the person that, of course, you found that helped you construct the solar lasso, none other than one of the bad kids' closest friends. It's Squeam! Yes! Oh, Squeam! Squeam! Oh my god, I can't oh my wait god, to see Squeam! Finally, Squeam for the we first get to see Squeam! Oh my god, oh, Squeam! Damn, Squeam wow. is hot. Well, that, this Squeam, hot Squeam's, Squeam's is. new mini for the oh, first yes. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Old Squeam. Well, yeah, we spent hours. Yeah. Squeam. Hours. Squeam. 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 So we all remember okay. Squeam. Squeam had a glow up. Oh, oh, we all agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We all agree? Uh, Squeam Acme is gone. Is this looking right, Squeam? <laughs> Squeam, I'm taking song requests. Squeam, what do you want them to sing? Squeam. Guys, you need to stop sucking up Squeam. Can you play Squeam? Squeam? You have to play a cooler. <laughs> I put it into an amp that turns it my uh, bass into just going Squeam. Squeam. Yeah. <laughs> 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 not my favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> None other than the elven oracle herself, Adine Abernim. Come on, please describe your character. Abba, Adine Abba, I can say my own name. <laughs> Adine Abernim, elven oracle, denim jacket, wearing cool kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's yeah. here, somehow has no dust on her face whatsoever. Gorgeous. It's like the dust is magnetized. <laughs> <to your face. laughs> she currently has mirror image going, so there's three Adines up there. Oh my she, god. Adine is a little guy it. now, like a little guy guy. Like she has lots of little guys. <laughs> so the so Adine up there as well as having her familiar Boggy the Froggy also has an invisible dog. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, Morde wow. I have Mordekainen's faithful hound, so I have an invisible dog called Moggy the Doggy. <laughs> okay. Wow. Is it, is, uh, are you also on top of the van? I'm also on top of the van because I'm uh, doing the sigil with Fig, so we both have Can I sigil use powers. the many addines as for cover? <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. Can I hide behind three addines? Uh, and I also have four steam method elementals. That Fuck are yeah. maybe hanging onto the side of the van. Steam, that's We're in it, babe. Yeah. That's the steam fun. ones are red. We have so many people up here. <laughs> yeah. so, so many more people on top of the van than in the truly, van. It's truly a quickly nearing unmanageable amount of people. <laughs> we uh, are coming your And control. the night you have cast show. Gust of Wind, and <laughs> that's the end of our season. <laughs> uh, so, Adine. Steam methods, ready yes. to go. Hell yeah. Um, this is Boggy the Froggy. Great. Uh, oh, we can pass. Let's pass Boggy around. Oh. And what is your what is your Morden King of Faithful Hounds name? Oh. Moggy the Doggy. And here's Moggy the Doggy. Great. Oh. Yes. Uh, and That's of course, unreal. Uh, and of course, the Elven Oracle herself, oh. Adine Abernant with the Sword of Sight. Yes. Okay. Oh God. Ah. How'd you get all these cute ass animals? And they go in a little shock. I went all yeah. in on animals, guys. I went in on like a pill. We all, need, we all need charm <laughs> bracelets with all of Adon's friends. Uh, <laughs> Zach, does Gorgog also have his homunculus here? Wait, I, his homunculus. Uh, I'm sorry. Is, is there not other more people today. up there? Not here today. I, Whew, okay, good. Oh, and baby, he doesn't do anything mechanically, but he does annoy anyone who's in the car, <laughs> which I'm uh, hoping is real. Uh, oh, do you mean uh, baby, aka Retro? Not the imp. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Yes! I, 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 I can't mechanically help because I'm not a class feature yet! <laughs> oh, he's just in Are there to put get next like, Oh, they're here. And then we have none other than the captain of the Egg Fort Owl Bears and the heir of Seacaster Manor, Woo! Fabian Aramea Seacaster! Yeah. Yes, sitting in the passenger seat under the sagging roof. <laughs> 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 the hang man. Uh, he just sees just yeah, yeah, I'm just starting to oh, penetrate sure through. Sure, it's gonna uh, out. <laughs> is, uh, hot is Fabian Aramea Seacaster, uh, Jock Turn Dancer, uh, kind of <laughs> sitting in the passenger seat with uh, his elven battle sheet, which has kind of now become an elven battle silk, and it's, it's like a little bit longer, just fluttering out of the passenger window. Yeah, I'm a you know former 
cool, Jock. Uh, Fabian's kind of grown his hair out now and is doing a whole kind of top knot situation. Oh, uh, yeah. And is also just kind of really leaning into the dancer aesthetic. We're all, we were, I wear all black now, you know. Uh, really? And, oh, when yeah. you're talking, your toes just kind of point Oh, exactly. Always, always. <laughs> exactly. You gesture with your feet. Yes, and everything, <laughs> <and> everything <laughs> is a lot there. Yes. Right. Yes. You all can't see it, but I'm doing it, I swear. But it's, Maybe another footprints on the windshield? <laughs> yes, well, Riz isn't driving where he's supposed to be. Stay in between those lines. Well, foot stuff is not going to read at all. But yes. Um... So riding shotgun in the hang van. Yes. This is your normal mini? Yes. <laughs> uh, but go ahead and just slide this guy in through the windshield. Wow. Oh, look at that. We have a seated mini in there. Wow. Which I, I should have started with who was in there. Uh, the front windshield is a little bit more space for baby to get tucked in. Oh, uh, so you're in there with baby also. I yes, baby's probably on my lap. <laughs> oh, baby's in there. Here, someone hand me baby real quick. So dangerous. We should you have, have a, a second seat. baby. Uh, uh, How many babies have you got? Baby? I'm just gonna keep. We're gonna remember that baby's in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. <sighs> I love to be in the air conditioning. <laughs> you into the back seat, baby. <laughs> it doesn't work so well. Go ahead, you should look at the replacing your AC filters. <laughs> <laughs> Retro out runs you, baby. hot. <laughs> Retro out runs hot. Incredible. So Fabian, you are in there. Uh, and where where do you want? Do you want the hangman out in front, or where do you want the hangman? I out? like the hangman out in front. Great, 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 great. Follow him. Follow him. Yes, I, uh, I shall lead the way to yes. promise and victory. Yes, uh, yes, you will. Also, uh, another ally uh, of yours. This battlefield so insane. Yeah, none other than. Isaf, oh, uh, the no. floating mirror. Oh, so she's gorgeous. Um, she says, uh, uh, Master Seacaster, as the battle commences, I must say that the protection of inside of this vehicle is certainly the only thing that will protect me from the ravages of the night yore. That's not the only thing that will protect me. <laughs> Stay close by my side. Master Seacaster, if I could blush. Okay. Guys, they're fucking, right? They're absolutely fucking. And fucking. one day, sure. you will. <laughs> I have a lot of money. We'll figure something out. I want you to experience that. What? I want you to know all. I don't even have a concept. I'm going to show you the world. <laughs> when the mirror is talking, is that Fabian's reflection talking? <laughs> Let's roll a luck check in front of the board. Uh, you want to call? If, uh, what do you want to call? If that's true, do you want that to be high or low? Uh, high. High, yeah. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a foggy reflection of Fabian's face speaks back in the mirror ah. as Isaf sort of takes over Fabian's expression. Mm. I'm gonna take care of you. <laughs> There's nothing more important in this world. <laughs> I've never had a, a papa before. <laughs> uh, we should focus. <laughs> We need to focus. Oh, crosses his legs. <laughs> we need to focus. We have to focus. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, this floating animated mirror who helped you understand sort of the secret of refraction technology uh, to develop both the sigil and the solar lasso joins you in this combat. Next, none other than the risen saint herself, prophet of the goddess of mystery and doubt, Cassandra, Kristen Appleby! Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kristen is doing great. I mean, some people may have seen her kind of wrapped in a blanket at like a preview day at a college. No more. She's really into just kind of like using her body in new ways, like working out. Um, she goes to a gym all the time, a lot of uh, like HIT training, a lot of CrossFit. Uh, she's, yeah, she's jacked. There's no, there's no <laughs> way to get around it. She's so strong. Yeah. Um, and she's inside the van. <laughs> Don't worry, Brennan. She is inside the van, okay? She's not up top. Allie did lean over to me earlier yeah. and we were like, yeah. I'm gonna be on top. <laughs> uh, 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 Kristen Appleby's embracing a sort of new wellness lifestyle That's in right. a yellow tracksuit. That's right. Question mark on the back. It's uh, called bloke mode. It's <laughs> absolutely bloked. <laughs> bloked to hell and back. Out. Yes. Uh, uh, and where are you? You're in the back? In an absolute tracksuit. That's right. Probably kind of in the middle of the Just van so that my oil. Oh yeah, go ahead and slot yourself all in the there. empty seats because all of our passengers <laughs> are on top of the car. <laughs> Some people should be in the van, yeah. right? Uh, great, incredible. Uh, and then none other than uh, Elmville's own private eye and agent uh, part-time of the LPRTF, Riz Gunga! Woo! Uh, Riz has graduated from briefcase kid to hipster nerd. Um, he is taking on some kind of bold fashion choices as he <laughs> has graduated to sort of a gadgeteer secret agent. Mm -hmm. He's now a uh, an arcane trickster. So you see he is 
driving the van with a mage hand that he's controlling Ooh. with like, he's become kind of a ring guy. So yeah. he's got like a bunch of rings. Hell yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> he's controlling. I had to do it. I needed the, I needed the tech. Oh, sure. You, you summoned the hand. Then why do you have the Joker? Like and I have to razors. wear the Joker in the fedora. Like, I need it. Do you have to tap it so loudly on the steering wheel? I don't know. So yeah, I'm kind of hanging out the window. I've got the Guck Gak gun that has been modified by me and Gorgug to have uh, essentially sun powers. It has become the sun gun. Mm. Uh, and I've gotten really into science trying to defeat the Night Yorb. And so I'm excitedly talking to Fabian going, <laughs> the Night Yorb stands no chance against the photosynth of kids. <laughs> I don't, I told you before, uh -huh. Ball, I don't like it. <laughs> it just, I'm, I start mouthy. revving the engine, <laughs> making it too loud. I can't hear you. I know it outside. We said we had to vote. Yes. Do you hear the hang van go, again, try not to say the name, gang. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Great, oh, yeah. You're not supposed to say so it. Many times. Um, you see, I mean, it can't get worse than it already is. Yeah, the night yoke is right there. I mean, we had the this, thing. This is our chance to say it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. calling it the thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, Riz, this is your normal miniature, but you're gonna take this little seated driver. Go ahead and throw him in the driver's seat. Let me see. The mirror is actually in the driver's oh, seat. Here's so cool. So. Well, the mirror oh, it really is goodness. in the driver's seat. Oh, <laughs> Brennan, there's been a little mistake. There's not a bunch of rings. <laughs> oh, what are the rings? Yeah, it's been a little bit of a mistake. Hey, Rick, can you get in here and just give us some rings? <laughs> I love, I love <laughs> improvised extra shit <laughs> on top, on top of the. <laughs> it's great. So uh, I'm gonna need everybody here uh, to go. Go ahead and roll initiative. Yeah. Oh. 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 Gorgeous. 18 oh. for Figaroth. 18 for Figaroth. 11 for Adine. 11 for Adine. The elementals got a 10. Oh, advantage I'm gonna say that, that for our, because you rolled right next to your own initiative, elementals are just gonna act on Great. your turn, Adine. Okay. And that can, that's gonna be true for Boggy and minions you have Great. as well. Great, the uh, dog only acts as a reaction. Gotcha, cool, so. cool, cool. Uh, Gorga, what'd you get? 10. 10, hell yeah. Ooh, we got some close ones. Fabian. 21. 21, hell yes. What'd Riz get? 26. Woo! Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Kristen Applebee's. Eleven. <laughs> that was a seven or eleven. It was a eleven. Eleven. <laughs> we enter pitched combat. This is it. Months of adventuring, uh, near-death experiences, romances, betrayals, investigations, discoveries, battles, and now it all comes down to this: the Night Yorb races ahead of the hangman. The Yorbies descend on this place. There is some secret plan that they seem to have enacted. You were not expecting these Yorbies to appear on the scene as they have, but you know that you have everything you need to get the Night Yorb back towards its sigil, to binding it forevermore, rather than simply letting it continue or escape or once again disappear into the lands of Spire. We are starting en media res. So our PCs are down, spell slots, abilities, health, but so are the enemies on the battle here. All these Yorbies are starting at three quarters health. Their mounts are starting at half health. The mounts you can see already have like sustained, you know, area of effect fireballs and lightning and all kinds of spells. There's like, you know, ax chunks and sword slashes and bullet wounds throughout them. The car is gonna act on initiative 20. And Riz, you're gonna act first on your own turn as the driver. Riz, Guck Gak, you are first up in combat. Okay, um, yes, I think I'm really dangerously hanging out the window way too much um, <laughs> while controlling it uh, with my mage hand. Uh, and then I guess, do these these dudes look like they're gonna like charge up, go after our van? Oh yes, it looks like, it looks like attacking the van is a priority of theirs. Great, okay, so I'm going to cast um, bo Booming Blade. Uh, I take my um, uh, cool new necklace, which I had to start wearing, um, and I, um, yeah, it's super functional. Um, <laughs> and I break off uh, like a bead on it, um, and, oh wait, actually I have to use a sword for that, so I can't do that. Um, I will just shoot it with my gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hell yes, go ahead and give me an attack roll. Uh, and I will, ooh, do I wanna, ooh, I can't get sneak attack. Can I? Can I hide as a bonus action, like just plop down and kind of shoot and then pop back up? Yeah, absolutely. Great, okay, so I'll um, hide. Uh, my hide check is a 26. Uh, so I jump down, maybe pop out a different window and shoot the uh, Guck Gak gun out. No oh. one's driving. <laughs> no, I got it. So, <laughs> so you're like, uh, and by the way, let me say, 
how are you hit, reaching? This is a van of the like, Gorgug's size. Do you have like stuff tied? I to just your have feet? mirrors and stuff. <laughs> just mirrors just and full stuff. on inspector gadget. So you have like, do you have like springs extending from the soles of your shoes to hit the yes. pedal? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think I'm literally like jumping down and stomping <laughs> on the pedals just while using a series of mirrors. Oh, so wait, you're down in the footwell, steering from the bottom of the wheel, hitting the pedals. Basically, like taking a disco ball. <laughs> Master Seacaster, does your friend? Yes, he needs you. But a little to the left. Yes, but I just don't want to lose okay. sight of me. To the right. We're going to have to choose between looking at the face and uh, looking at the road. Um, try to keep your eyes on me as best you can. The ball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. oh, I um, want to turn with you, so. Yeah. <laughs> Riz tries not to clock it. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, and then I'll take an attack. Awesome. On. What's your stealth? Uh, ooh, stealth was 26. Oh, easy, no worries. Great. Okay, so pop down, pop back up in a different area, just using all these gadgets to keep it going. <laughs> Quickly becoming uh, uh, Inspector Gadget. Um, <laughs> but like hot. But so hot. But like cool, <laughs> hot Inspector Gadget. <laughs> so sexy, um, Inspector Gadget. 27 to hit. Oh, that is uh, definitely going to yeah. hurt. Okay, yeah. so then. I'm so nervous. First turn in a while. You Chat amongst it. yourself. You got no, it. Yeah, you've got it, Murph. With uh, sneak attack, and I'm also gonna use my once a day um, uh, fury of the small to do an extra ten, so thirty damage total to that dude. Uh, thirty damage to that Yorbi. And then I'm out of action economy, so I can't hide. So I'm just back in the in the driver's. Uh, 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 can you go stick this on that Yorbi at the driver's uh, back? Okay, he takes thirty points of damage. Yes. Wow. Thirty. Big swing. Yeah, we're strong. Yeah. Remember we're when we got killed now. by tables? We definitely Look got how far we've come. Now we're all on top of a car. <laughs> and no one's falling over. And no one's yeah. falling over, baby. Falling <laughs> off. It's truly sick. Fig and Adon are both standing, <laughs> one on a skateboard, and then a giant crystal construct and Gorgug on the back. Okay, and you are no longer in stealth because you used stealth to get advantage. Correct, correct. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. You watch that Yorbi in front of you, who's looking healthy and kind of okay. <laughs> a massive blast of radiant energy from the sun gun. Boom! <laughs> you see up ahead that the night Yorb goes <laughs> and pulls the solar lasso tight with just that thing in the distance of like radiant light yeah. uh, firing. Uh. Um, that Yorbi is still alive, but on death's door. Legendary action at the end of Riz's turn. The night Yorb is going to cast darkness. Yes, so darkness lands covering basically uh, all of the front half. You see that the night Yorb up ahead just goes <laughs> and it shits out. It just shits a blob uh, of pure night. Right. Okay, uh, okay. And magical darkness covers the front of the hang van. You can see that it's targeting the hang van as the object. Right. So the darkness will move with you. Up next in the initiative order, Fabian, Aramaeus, Seacaster, Hangman also going on your turn. Great. Uh, how far is the night yorb from us at this point? I just need to know if it's less or more than 60 feet. Well, its tail counts as its body. It is slightly over 60 feet. The hangman's within 60 feet, but the hang van is at about 70. Okay. Isaf, Isaf, I'll be right back. <gasps> Master Seacaster, I shall wait for you here for as long as it takes for you to return. Uh, it won't be long at all. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, Riz, keep driving the, uh, keep driving the car. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna climb out of the front, uh, the front of the car, mm -hmm. uh, and onto the hangman, um, just to get just within 60 feet. So I want to use this little movement because I'm gonna try and climb back into the car after I do this. Um, okay. So. <laughs> Climbing out of the car onto the hangman, uh, and I'm gonna whip uh, the uh, battle silk forward and cast fairy fire onto Whoa. the ooh onto the night yorb. The night yorb. Okay, uh, you give me a DC wow. 15 acrobatics okay. uh, to successfully land on your moving motorcycle. I have a plus 13 to acrobatics, <laughs> so just don't roll so bad. <gasps> God damn. Is, that no. a, is that a nat one? It was a nat fucking one. Why do you still own oh, this die? You're blessed. I recognize that dice. I, uh, you're blessed. Wait, wait. You're blessed. 
Oh, don't you oh, have a certain no. ice, silvery barbs? No. Yeah. Is this a so, is this a saving throw or is she like a fighter? It's not a saving Wait, throw. Wait, you magically distract the triggering creature. Uh, no, I no think it's I just, to succeed. I think for silvery I think I, it just happens. Okay. I am I am trying to look at this mirror for as long as I possibly <laughs> can, <laughs> and I think I'm just putting my dainty foot out, being like, "All right, pull it, <laughs> right, yes. and uh, yeah. <laughs> Riz, you watch uh, as your good friend Fabian Hermes Seacaster gets one beautiful dancer's foot up through the windshield, by the way, that you, I guess, have taken out <laughs> to allow <laughs> this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually, I'm going to go into probably, probably want to pop the side window yeah, up yeah, and yeah. do it from there. Okay. So you pop the side window on a natural <laughs> one. You spring uh. forward and miss the motorcycle, roll disadvantage because of the nat one, but we're going to go ahead and the van is going to take a crush attack on you right Ooh, away. No! Um, hey, <laughs> uh, okay, but we can still rebarbs the bank. Uh, okay. No, this is, I'm gonna need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. It's a low DC, it's only DC 12, but you're rolling it with disadvantage. Oh, don't God. Uh, no. It's so weird, when I look so into the mirror, it looks like Fabian's coming towards the car. <laughs> and circle of power gives Circle us... of power gives you advantage on saving throws, so it's cool. even, right? It, flat. Y yes, uh, gives you advantage? Yeah. Oh yeah, so it's a straight roll. Throw. Oh no, but straight it's, roll, uh, but on magical effects, right? So I don't think, I do think it's flat. Oh, by getting hit by a You guys Yeah, there's nothing magical about what's happening in this moment. <laughs> a, a kid, a kid like, like a teenager has jumped to a motorcycle it, with five feet of clearance from a van doing 90 in the middle oh, of the desert. This Everyone's is why there are more mirror. women yeah. than men. Because teenage <laughs> boys do this shit. Okay. Right, you need a, okay. Disadvantage. Uh, oh. That's the lower one is a 14 okay. before bless. Okay. And a 18 after bless. Hey. Okay. Fabian, give me one more dex saving throw. This is a DC 20 dex saving throw. You roll it straight. Okay. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh it's my same God. Same uh, dex save? Dex save. It's I think I'm throwing that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no okay. Please um, hold it. Let me hold it. So Fabian, you leap forward, eat dirt. The hangman sprays gravel into your eyes. You fly under the van, <gasps> barely on that first save, not getting crushed under the wheels for 10d10 damage. Okay. Um, what? And, so I killed fun. him! I killed <laughs> Fabian! Oh um, Fabian, so low kindly place, I'm gonna actually say, we're gonna use, kindly Wait, take was your- was it an attack roll? Was it an attack no, roll? No, it's a, it's a no. deck save. Uh, oh, so Fabian, yes. kindly slide your mini under the body of the hangman. Yeah, you got it. Um, so Just like that. Uh, <laughs> everyone know that Fabian is under the midsection of the hangman as we proceed with these next He's just starts. like on the grate getting and, dragged along. And if he survives, Fabian will be stranded on this battle board as the van surges <laughs> forward. Um, uh, so, uh, Fabian, that's your movement. Do you okay. want to have an action, bonus action? Wait, are you still standing? Oh no, you're, the, 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 the next the save, the DC 20 was prone. You are prone under the van and have an okay. action and bonus okay, action. Okay. okay. Sure. As you as you hit the dirt, you like you know mouth whatever that to ESAP, You huh, vanish under the van in a but no one feels a bump or anything. You hear Riz ESAP goes, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Dude, you killed your friend. You just killed your best I friend. I was dying. What the fuck? Didn't everything's bad in here? Oh, I think yeah. Uh, Riz, you fully hear the the mirror go like this fucking kid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Wait, do I have, uh, so uh, as I'm in the midsection, yeah. is there like a chance to grab onto something? Well, you have an action and bonus action. Okay, so, great. So now it's like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> the van is racing over you. Okay. You've just barely avoided getting crushed. The great. van, this is a great first round, guys. Yeah. rolling between the wheels. Uh, uh, yeah. I, sh I shouldn't have brought up the tables, I cursed us. Yeah, you cursed us. This was your fault. Uh, I say, hey, man, around, <laughs> around. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, uh, the hey, man has moved so the hangman leading the charge says, Shia, oh shit, you're under there. Uh, and is going to wheel around, use its full movement. And it, yeah, it can just barely avoid attacks opportunity. Go ahead. But it's going to use its its dash and yes. and it's going to use its its movement and action to get <laughs> behind you. Uh, and then my goal would just be to uh, grab onto the hangman. OK, go ahead. And this is going to be, uh, we'll call this Acrobatics, it's a DC 15, but you are rolling with disadvantage because you're going from prom. Okay, got it. Uh, that's a 16. 
You clear it by one. Oh, um, wow. that, was three. Wow. that was a three uh, on the die. On that same goddamn die. It's cursed. Uh, uh, Fabian, uh, could you go ahead and hand me both your mini and the hangman's mini? Okay, great. Wow, how many minis do you have? Get out of here. It's junior year, baby. We pulled out all the stuff. Fabian, Aramis, Seacaster, Astride, the hangman. So, oh, yeah. okay, oh, so we, we burned a lot of actions a to basically get on. <laughs> to get but you're not off. dead. Yes. Whoa, cool move, baby. <laughs> baby, was that, awesome. that intentional? Massive scare. <laughs> so much rubber. Grab, uh, grab. You are going to take four points of damage just falling damage from hitting the thing. So you take four points of damage, a little bit of road rash, get up on your motorcycle, you are behind the hangman. Any bonus um, action? Uh, I'll second wind. <laughs> 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 An incredible turn. Is that how you always raised. get on it? <laughs> oh. Yes, I used to do the Teen Wolf thing, but this is a new this is a new version. <laughs> okay, and with that, uh, it's gonna be the Yorbies. Yikes! So, in a scooch up. Sixteen on the second wind. Okay, gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> gorgeous. 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 This season, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Oh. God. Um, okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, your bees are gonna run up. These two in the front are gonna try to stab the engine of <gasps> the hang van. What? Uh, Damn. Let me see here. What okay. are you guys doing up there? Who's doing what? I'm doing the We're on gunner. the sigil. Yeah, we're on the sigil. You're on the sigil. And you're doing the gunner. Thing. The gunner of the okay. solar. This guy's actually gonna run right awesome. here. So this guy in the center opens his voice and in a what you guys all clock as a Salesian accent, you're like, this guy's from Solace. He goes, gang, this one's for the night, Yorb. Yorbies, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> what? Okay, what movie theater were you assistant managing before you decided to become a Yorbie? Yeah. <laughs> Following the night, Yorbs brought a lot of purpose and meaning to my life. <laughs> um, okay, but you... the sun is, the night Yorbs blocking the sun. We need those photons to get to the chlorophyll. Let's end the world. Um, and so Kristen, wow, so Kristen, he's really, really impressionable. He might be for your church. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> uh, you know, I kind of stopped working on my church. I didn't really get back to that. Uh, that guy in the middle is going to use, he, he's using an ability to give all of his allies advantage on their attacks. Ooh. Ooh. That's not good. I hate it. That's a nat 20. Silvery bar. Oops. Nice. That is a miss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. Okay, one attack from the one on the front left, uh, and then these guys are gonna start hurling javelins. Miss, good grief. All right, that's one hit. That is a crit on the javelin. Silvery barbs. <laughs> Ah. Miss. Okay. Yes. Um, so just oh right God. now, it's just two hits out of all these attacks. Both on Squeam? Oh, uh, no, they're attacking the hangman. <laughs> Squeam! Squeam! Squeam's okay. Squeam, I can't lose you again. Over. We've already brought you back from the dead once. Yes. We spent so many diamonds on Rivet by you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Squeam is worth so, so much. Jer Turns and Jerry's worth a diamond. Yeah. Yeah. With all of their weapons coming down, uh, the hangvan takes 52 points of damage. So at 98. That's over a 98, damn. Riz, I'm giving you advantage on your next roll for my silvery barbs. Oh, thanks. Hey, I'll give you advantage on your next Thank roll you. for my silvery barbs. <laughs> you. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, I'm totally incorrect. Because of the damage threshold? Forgot about damage threshold. Sorry, gang. Damage threshold is 10. So only one of those. You, uh, does anyone else have a silvery barbs? Because one last one of those was a crit. Uh, uh, they actually get a one. Incredible. <laughs> the hangman. How much damage are these javelins doing? Uh, when they're critting, they're doing over the damage threshold of the hangman. Yeah. More than 10. Uh, so, and damage threshold, how much, how they much? take no damage if it's over 10. Okay, but how much? How many hit points does the hangman have? Uh, 150, 150, but with that damage threshold, a lot of those attacks are getting negated already. So if you wanted to let one crit through. I think I'm just going to let one crit through and okay. save, save my okay. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. rolls. Great. Okay, um, the hangvan instead takes uh, 14 points of damage. Okay. Uh, okay. So the hangvan goes from 150 to 136. Damage threshold, huge. So yeah, javelin's pinging off the metal. Your car is getting very fucked up. Hey! <laughs> I'm telling you, we just hot water and then punch it all back out. <laughs> I'm willing not sure. to do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I would love to. I'll use my that. Hey, yeah, like, Kristen, like, we like, can do this. We there's a lot of bad advice this. and skateboard rolling going on up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing the paint chip away. On the I'm an active thinker. <laughs> um, let me get two deck saves for the car from the driver, <gasps> and let me get one from you the. Guys, still rebarbs though. Great. Uh, two deck saves for the car from the driver. One deck save for Riz personally, and one deck save for Kristen personally. Okay. okay. Bless. Start. We, this we have blessed. Start with the car. Mm-hmm. Eight. Car is my dex. Mm-hmm. 28. That saves. Mm. Great. Um, and then myself, I don't have advantage. This will just be regular. Eight. But you have bless. But I have bless. Okay. But you have bless. Fuck. Uh, 15. 15. Uh, uh, 15. Yeah. 15 also saves. Oh, great. So 15, so 15 saves uh, uh, for the car, and then Riz and Kristen for yourselves. Great. I, d I did it for my, uh, I, ha I got like a 28 yes, for the yes. car, okay, um, and then I got like a 15. <gasps> Nat fucking 20, let's go. Yes. But with my minus four deck, oh, that is a 16, 16. but oh. I think it should count as something. And the hangman beat it both times, right? Oh, oh, sorry, there were two for the hangman. Okay, there so is. I've only done one for the hangman. It had advantage the one time, but this time it's just gonna be flat. Oh, okay, cool. Dirty 20. Okay, amazing. Um, so all this damage is halved, but these two massive insects in the front wheel around and blast huge lines of acidic, basically bile out of these glands and their mandibles that hit and start to corrode the front of the hang van, and the ones on either side blast them in through the windows and hit each of you. Hangman halves all the damage, so do you guys. So it's five acid damage each, okay. and then 10 for the hangman. So the hangman is now at 126 out of 150. Cool. And then we all take that damage. Yes. However, you have survived <clears throat> the Yorby's turn. Folks, it's a brand new season. Bad Kids, it's not their first fucking rodeo. We are putting the lair action for this battle in the hands of our player characters. Yeah. Uh, so people that are doing car shit, go ahead and do car shit if you want to do okay. it. Okay. Uh, the Night Orb is at half uh, is at half health, so so we can go ahead and try and do the uh, sigil. You need to, to get wheeled in on You're top of the sigil. Right so the solar lasso has got to wheel see. it in. We have two sigilists up at the front of the car. Yeah. Free spell attack to dispel a single night you'll effect. Adine, go ahead and give me a spell attack. I'll let you know the number you are trying to beat here. And you do have two chances, because Fig and yeah, you are both. Oh, yes. have and um, spell attack, we also get bless on, right? No. No. Uh, oh, spell attack, though. Attack. Attack, before, yeah. before you do that, are, will my like cleric twilight eyes of night work oh. on this? Does it say you can see in magical darkness? It doesn't say magical in this. So you cannot see through magical darkness. There's, oh, there's an ability that warlocks get called devil's sight yeah. that allows them to oh, see in magical darkness. Oh, okay, okay, darkness. cool, cool. Then never mind. But uh, we can we can try and get yeah. rid of this. Yeah, totally. That is a plus eight, so uh, 16. 16 does not do it. Okay, okay. Yes! Oh Ooh, baby! <laughs> Uh, Fig, go ahead and describe for me as this uh, darkness emerging from the back of the night yorb splats into the front of the hang van. How do you get rid of it? I fear not darkness. I am from hell and I breathe it all yes. in. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. It smells so bad. No. That's good for you. Monster, baby. Yeah. Give me just a low D. Give me a DC 10 constitution save. <laughs> 12! 12! Yeah. Oh, your infernal uh, digestive tract is stronger yeah. stuff than this. Yeah. Uh, Not as bad as clothes. brimstone, but... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Honestly, the weird thing is, this just tastes like very cold water. It... <laughs> yeah, I feel hydrated, like I just went to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the darkness vanishes, we've used our sigil actions, any other car actions in this in this layer turn. Obviously, the, the driver's got a lot to, to do in a second. Yes. I'm thinking about gas in it. Oh, gas yeah. Gas it. Gas it. Freaking gas it. I'm gonna do the solar lasso after you. Great. Riz is gonna go ahead and um, jump on the pedal. <laughs> uh, off the brake, just full on on the Bam. pedal. Bam. For the next round, until the next initiative count 20, deck saves for the hang band made with disadvantage. Uh, Your forehead's okay. pressing the gas. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna disconnect this. So, the hang band is going to surge forward. You're gassing it. So, all of the Yorbies in the middle of the path yeah. are gonna make deck saves. Uh, as you go for it, we're gonna roll for them right now. And you can feel, Gorga got the solar lasso, that the tightness of the lasso gives way, which gives you an opportunity to like reel in, essentially. Cool. Um, yeah, this is gonna be brutal. Okay. Sorry, Yorbies. 
<laughs> Yorbies. Little Yorbies. They're going to uh, be fine. They're going to be fucking fine, dude. Hey, I made it, yeah. you know? <laughs> Fabian's fine. I think Fabian's pretty hurt. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Squeam, I did this so I could see you. He's definitely embarrassed. <laughs> no, I'm not. Squeam should... does have a great butt. That was awesome. Okay. Yeah. The leader fully dodges out of the way. He goes, oh, and leaves to the side of the road. The two in the back are not as quick on the draw as him. Murph, when the car is gassing it, they roll with disadvantage. That's what the rule is. Uh, the other guy also fails because you're yeah. gassing it. Okay, you're going to get all three. Roll yeah. 5d10 for each one. Yeah. Or just 5 to 10 in total. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And whoever wants to can very gingerly uh, move the hang van up um, uh, in between these guys up that. here. Yeah. Oh, my God. I rolled so good. It's insane. <gasps> oh, my God. Um, it's awesome. There's three tens out of five. So, oh, um, wow. wow. Okay. It's a new season. Third it's a new mark. Yeah. <laughs> out of a possible, out of a possible 50, 45. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Three tens, a nine, and a six. Oh, dude, Riz, you all watch as Riz, his little goblin form, this new hipster, kind of like a little bit suave or Riz, double foot slams on the gas, and all three of these Yorbies, this guy right here is saying, the pits, the power of the night, ah! uh, flies 40 feet in the air. His torso is facing his butt's direction. Like, <laughs> he fucking, really, all you hear, go, 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 go. You're doing like 130 in the, in the van Riz, right now. Riz screams. <laughs> Baby screams, yes, the windshield is covered in blood. You murdered them, your countrymen. Uh, as you surge forward. Oh, shit. I don't think we should be up here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, yeah, don't stand in the road with the van coming towards you. Did we move this far enough up? Far enough to sort of it? sort of make them be gone. Yeah, uh, let's just scooch them forward. Okay. Maybe in ketchup. Other car actions. Incredible. We uh, uh, those Yorbies are so. If I'm at the window, I can give someone a reroll on a dex, and if I'm at the door, I could make a slam attack. I can't do yes. both. I can't say, like, I jump up to the door, slam, and then I run back. No, no, you gotta, you gotta commit to it. I'll, I'll commit to the window since we just got our disadvantage. Okay, things. so you still oh, have you great. still have pretty heavy cover at the window, and totally. you have that ability to use a reaction. That's to, great. To, I'll, to I'll keep, I'll stay there. Hell yeah. I uh, crack, like, a, a yerba mate, and I <laughs> dump it into some protein powder, and I'm just shaking. It's so loud, the little yerba shaker. Yerba protein um, powder is so Louder than the engine. You feel you feel within you as you shake the yerba to the voice of your god is speaking. This is really exciting. This could be huge for us. Yeah. Um, can go. I call you back? <laughs> what was that? Oh, sorry. Yeah. If you, um, by the way, I know that we talked. Now, now you can sort of like call on me for divine intervention. And I put in your <laughs> And I and I, no, I don't have any other clerics. So. And then, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, it's so thick. Uh, unbelievable. Solar lasso and and Fabian, you're doing your own thing. And then solar lassoing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, I get plus five to this. Plus uh, my elixir lets me roll a d4, Ooh. four to that. So the night you're right now is 50 feet away, uh, or like has 50 feet of solar lasso between it. If you succeed by 10 or more, we are going to move that now. You have a bardic, remember? Oh, uh, we started yeah, this you with your Wait, those you, are D8 dice. from me. Oh, I got oh, right. one from you? Okay, cool. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're great. They're really gorgeous. Okay, cool. so 18. You got an 18. Yes. Okay, so this thing has a huge athletics, but it's rolling with disadvantage. Because I hexed it. That's right. That's right. If you succeed on this roll by 10 or more, you actually reel it in 10 feet. But a nice. success does reel it in by okay. five. And you can use attacks on your own turn if you yeah. want to keep reeling it in. Right. Um, disadvantage, 16 and 7. Oh. one. <gasps> yeah! Thank God you yeah. use that big spare 14 points of damage to the van. Okay, uh, it gets a one, You're, which is a good thing, because the night York gets spooked, the more the line goes taut. So with the gassing of the van up, you're able to just <laughs> this helixing ray of solar energy. <laughs> moves in 45 feet left of slack. So the, so the night yorb, if it surges to get away, it's not gonna be able to, it's, it's, its length is diminished. Come um, on, come on, buddy. Here we go. Esaf is going to give the help action to the driver, Riz, so you have advantage on whatever you're doing. That brings us to Figaroth Faith astride the hangman. Do we get the impression that just doing some damage to this guy might help? Give me an insight check with advantage. 
Uh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, that is a <clears throat> 21. Okay, you see that the Night Yorb was wounded, enough, clearly wounded enough that in its position right now, mm -hmm. like it was capturable by the sigil. It suddenly looks like it's become a little bit healthier. And as you watch, one of the Yorbies on the back of the thing goes, everyone, for our fallen comrades, for the Night Yorb. And you watch a little injury heal on the Night Yorb's body as the servant says, Night Yorb. Okay. okay. It's the thing. <laughs> Wait, it's what thing? The thing. Oh, <laughs> by saying it. Okay. say its name, it gets better. You see okay. that hangman in the back says, I thought me and the hangman were pretty clear. Pretty clear a long time ago. Are these guys prone or dead? They're full dead. They're full dead. Full dead. Then I'm That's just awesome. going to, I'm just going to go ahead and try to Eldritch Blast the Night Yorb. Nice. Back. Nice. Oh, no, no. Okay, of Emily no, Axford, it's yeah, only yeah, in character. Yeah, Emily Axford can say, Night Yorb, Night Yorb, okay. Night Yorb. We're all good to say Night Yorb. <laughs> you must not but I do love, I do love, I love the hustle. I, I, love I did not notice what had happened. I was like, what happened? Are you okay? <laughs> I don't know. I'm did so what? scared. Yeah, I'm just going to Eldritch Blast him. Uh, it's a 24 to hit. Uh, oh, and that's a crit because I, yeah. no, I crit on 19 on my Hexblade curse. Right. Yeah. Okay, so he has an. So, okay, the first one is just going to be. Uh, D10, but he's like uh, got hex, and I'm adding stuff for hex and hexblade curse. Just so you hell know. yes, got it. Okay, do you want me to roll it all at once? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go okay. for it. Do your thing. Um, awesome, awesome. So, uh, four plus. Zach, where are those dice from? They were handed to me by I think Rick earlier. You I guys don't have to whisper him to me, man. Okay. <laughs> Those are pretty cool, actually. I think you would really like this. I don't like what's happening. <laughs> Do you want one? Come on. I'm just doing right. it. This kind of represents the color pants. Just do it. Just do it. Just trade. I just kind of put these Just trade. Kind of 40 damage. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what does it look like, this, these eldritch blasts coming from Fig the Unfaithable? Uh, I think it comes from my bass guitar, and it looks like um, it shoots out like a real wiggly musical note. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone just sees like a treble clef made of energy. <laughs> blah, 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 like, the energy of like a noodler. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've got uh, my swoon pedal on right from, now. <laughs> from beneath your feet, you can hear, Yes, mistress, take us for a walk! Um, um, and then I'm going to also, because that was only a cantrip, I'm going to bonus action healing word Fabian. Hell yeah, go for it. Nice. Nice, okay. Fabian. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to do, you know what? Let's just do a second level. You feel good about that? I feel great about it. Oh, cool. Did he get hurt or something? Yeah. Yeah, so just another 12. Okay. Another 12 Great. HP. I, mm -hmm. I thought he meant to go under the van. I did. I, I did. <laughs> I meant it. it was like a somersault. <laughs> I, I would have thought that too, but then I heard the mirror being like so upset. Uh, she was upset. That's my turn. Hell yes, Fig. Next to you, by the solar lasso, you see that Squeam turns to you and goes, <gasps> Squeam. Squeam what? Squeam. Squeam. What does that mean? Squeam puts its head to your head. No, Squeam. <laughs> Squeam, not like this. Squeam. Squeam. I'll always remember what you said to me. I yanked the hand mirror so I could see what's going on out there. <laughs> I, I, I do a tear. A tiny bit of moisture comes out of the crystalline face of Squeam's single sort of mono-eye beam of pink light. Squeam. And Squeam <gasps> leaps off the van. Squeam! Um, uh, and no! is going to attempt to grapple the guy coming up, the guy the coming up uh, behind Ooh, you. Yeah. He's going to make a shove attack. Squeam, you've given enough already. Uh, Squeam rolls a natural two face plant <laughs> and tumbles. <laughs> Tumbles into the dust. Squeam! Wow, he's doing a Fabian. <laughs> squeam! Um, no, Squeam, you're not as acrobatic as I am. Do I open my hand and there's a little letter? Uh, yeah, wow. the letter has a small rose sort of drawn in it, and it says, Squeam. <laughs> uh, Just an ugly cry. <laughs> um, Adine Abernan, Elven Oracle, that is your turn. Okay, let's 
freaking go. This is gonna be a long this one, folks. Strap it. Roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So first of all, each of these—they're actually dust methods, not steam methods. I misspoke earlier. I have a lot of methods. Oh. Uh, so each of them is going to. So that's why you're uh, so dusty. <laughs> that's where the dust is coming from. Yeah. Dust is coming from. Uh, do a blinding breath. The method exhales a 15-foot cone of blinding dust. Each creature in that area must succeed in a DC 10 dexterity saving throw. It will be blinded for one minute. Okay. So there's two on each side. All so each of these guys has to make two DC 10 dexterity saving throws. Each of who needs so, to do that? So both the mount and the guy on both sides. On both sides, great. So every one of them is making two rolls. Oh, okay, gotcha. For eight total. For eight total. And what's the DC on that? 10. 10, let's go. Okay, let's do Yorbi on my left. Fails twice. Yorbi on my left. Yorbi on my right. <laughs> uh, his mount so fails so once. Yorbi on my right. <laughs> Uh, fails once. <laughs> Mount yeah. fails once. Okay, so all they blind. all fail at least once, and the guy on my left fails twice. Great. So uh, even if they fail, it doesn't matter. If they fail, they fail. Okay. And um, they're all blinded? So they're blinded. They can repeat a saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending this effort on a success. And actually, I'm just going to give these as little status conditions to them. Blinded, disadvantage, fellas. Sorry. Uh, what does it look like? By the way, you'll see, like, resonating with the white, crackling light of the Elven Oracle. <laughs> All these little steamy, gremlin-like, flying imp creatures. So I think that um, they're hanging onto the side of the hang pen. They just put their feet into the ground and dust just like throws up. Ah, they start like, scratching at their eyes as they go. <sighs> the dust of the ground is the weapon we summon for our own <laughs> mystery. <laughs> we are made of vapor. Okay, you don't need to oh. talk. You just can need to dust. How does their voice sound so wet when they're so dry? <laughs> <It's so laughs> no, but we. Oh, sorry. They're du- you said dust methods, right? They're dust methods. Yeah. Okay, so it's more like. <laughs> <laughs> just like when you get you a big a thing of like Ovaltine or like Swiss Mist, yeah. you're like, <laughs> like cinnamon challenge behavior over <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah, oh, they are water? just doing the cinnamon challenge all over the <laughs> Not water, it would destroy me! Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that's just your conjured that's just elementals. My, that's my elementals turn, and then I'm going to bonus action cast True Strike, because I can do that with my sword. Mm-hmm. Um, and I gain advantage on my first attack roll um, against the Night Yorb, and I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb at a fifth level thunder damage. Ooh. Yeah! Mm. Eldritch um, Blast is force, right? Force, yeah. yeah. Oh, have we in our travels learned anything about the Night Yorbs? Yeah, give me give me Arcana or Investigation. Great. Yeah. That is a 17 Arcana. 17 Arcana, I will give you either uh, immunities or resistances or vulnerabilities, but not all three, honestly. Vulnerabilities, please. Vulnerabilities. Radiant, takes double damage from Radiant. Oh! Well, uh, Chromatic Orb doesn't do that, so I will do Thunder. <laughs> okay, cool. Rude. Okay, um, 16. 16 to hit? To hit. 16 does not hit. Damn! No. Okay, uh, well, there we go. That is it, the end of my turn. The dust so great. Uh, you also have, uh, wait, I would love for my big bad guy to not take a fifth level uh, Chromatic Orb, but you do have Boggy helping you. Well, I already you rolled already with advantage. Rolled. Oh, you already rolled with advantage. But with two strike also, I have the dodge action, so. That's much, yeah, that's better, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. You know. And then your hound is not doing anything right now either, right? The hound is really only if somebody gets up on Gets up, 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 up in your grill. Yeah. Hell yeah, Adine, that is your turn. The Mephits blind the Yorbies and their mounts surrounding you. Uh, that is going to be Gorgug Thistle Spring. I think Gorgug is looking around uh, and seeing all the blinded people around him, and it's like, they're not maybe as much of a factor as I thought they would, and I'm gonna, Try to reel in the solar lasso. I can do that as my turn. You you can do two attacks on that if you want. Yeah. Yes. So I would just do roll like I did last time. Yeah, it's yeah. just you're, you're rolling your attack, um, uh, and this creature is still it's adding plus twelve, but it's rolling disadvantage. Come here, big boy. So I'll let you know the first thing you got to beat. Uh, okay, uh, seventeen is what you got to beat. Okay. On the first one. And it's not. I'm not rolling with advantage. I think. You, well, you could. could reckless. You could reckless. Here. Oh yeah. Then it's, yeah. I'll reckless. Go for oh, it. Come on. Got to beat baby. seventeen. Come on. Uh, so I got thirteen plus five, eighteen on the first one. But I'll roll to see if I. You roll to see if you crit. I did not. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. So that is a success. Yeah, it comes down to forty really feet. You have forty feet of slash. Yeah, come on. Yes. You're gonna go one more time. 
Okay, four plus 12 is, you gotta beat a 16. 21. Yes. 21. Yes. Yes. 35 yes. feet of slack. You're going fishing. Hey. Uh. <laughs> yeah, just, just as you're pulling it in, it's 35 feet. Describe what it looks like as you're like manning this oh, gun. I'm gone fishing. <laughs> <laughs> pulling it in, like kind of cranking like a thing on the side that pulls the rope in further. <laughs> and the rope is like this crackling Ghostbusters-esque thing of like energy. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> Spitting out dust. It really is strange. I think, I think you guys do see there's a huge magazine where this thing that feels like it should be a spell effect is just like being wound up like a cable, like a garden hose yeah. of pure energy. Oh. The sooner we get out of here, the sooner I get all these people off the top of my van. <laughs> uh, any bonus actions from Gorgon? Uh, I think that is it for Gorgon. Kristen Applebee's, you are up next. Ooh. Great. Uh, I'm in the back seat. I think I kind of like dip my head out the window a little bit, feel that kind of hot desert air, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, wow, this is really our last thing before we go back and like start school. <laughs> and I have a little bit of like dread. I just feel a little bit weird. You have the Sunday um, scaries? I have the Sunday <laughs> scaries in like a major way. It's the Sunday scaries if you worked the weekend. Yeah, yes. yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, like, You're like, God damn it. <laughs> um, I hear Gorgug saying, gum vision. <laughs> and I just reach my hand out and kind of like touch your foot and I go, ah! you're killing it, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> and I cast uh, Greater Invisibility on you. Oh. oh cool. Ooh. Uh, okay. And that's Gorgug, gonna, that will Gorgug burn. Fell off the greater fan. Invisibility gonna, will burn concentration. I know, so I'm yeah. gonna, I think I'm gonna get rid of the circle of power. To work on the van. Ooh, great question. Let me see, see the card. Circle of power. So the van's not a creature. Cool. Cool. Really? It has like a little voice and stuff. Well, well there's sort of an voice. angel in the gas tank. <laughs> oh, that's right. We put a crystal in there. Yeah, yeah. Zafriel's in there being like, what's up? It's the angel of chill times. That's true. We what's up? Them yet. Zafriel, he yeah, ran over some people pretty hard. No, man. Don't put that on me, brother. <laughs> all right, all right. I just, well, I still I still say you're doing a great job, but I don't do shit. I just, I'm just kind of touching your foot. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna cast Cure Wounds on myself because I only have 14 hit points right now. Ooh, shit. Okay, uh, good call. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, I could have healing word you. Oh, no, you're good. I got 22. <laughs> Fabian is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and then. It was my pride as well. It wasn't just HP, you know? <laughs> it was more to heal. You started, started the season by getting run over. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it's, there's nothing so fun to the whole van and everyone being up there, and it's just, yeah. And we're like, it's such a status shift. It's just, just following yeah, on a exactly motorcycle. Like, wait up. <laughs> uh. Then I'm just gonna move back to the center of the van. But no, any other spells or anything? Oh, you cured yourself, great. Cured myself. Uh, touch uh, Gorgug's foot. Um, <laughs> and I, uh, Object interaction. Uh, yeah. touch oh no, sorry, I'm still foot. at the window for my deck save thing that I can do for the car. Touch but um, my my dust covered it. boot. <laughs> yeah, I touched it and then I put my hand down and I went, Jesus. Christ. Yeah, it was just like a hand. Just a lot of this. <laughs> Wiping it on the chairs of yeah. the hangman. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Okay. Oh, don't like to see. What, what the is hell that? is that? Oh, is that a piece of pizza is gonna go on? <laughs> Is that an invisible is this more? piece of Go ahead and pizza? slap that piece of pizza down. Yeah. Is, this yeah. is that a spell? Are you trying to figure out where the spell? pizza's going to go on the table? A spell. What? It's a breath weapon. <sighs> okay, but we this would be a magical effect though, right? Magical Ooh. effect for rolling with advantage because yes. of the circle of power. Throws. Yes, this is magical. Yeah. Correct. Okay, Correct. Great. Glad I didn't just make Gorgug invisible instead of... <laughs> <laughs> the Night Yorb's turn. First turn? This is the Night Yorb's first turn. It has legendary actions, but... So it's coming out of his butt, though. <laughs> yeah. The breath uh, puppet is definitely fight. coming out. Are you really calling this? That's still yeah. breath. That's still breath. <laughs> so it's blackness. A so butthole. Fires. Fires. Dang. Dang. You're enveloped Dang. in butthole. <laughs> what? It what's, smells so good. What is that? <laughs> yeah. 35 feet Cold away. Water. It's that scene in a movie where they're like, what's happening? Yeah, that's, that's everybody. <laughs> OK. okay. Uh, this is going to take a minute. Including I'm, me? No, you're good. You're golden. Oh, Are you sure? Yeah. Fabian, would you let me? Fabian, you jumped out of the car. <laughs> well, that was, I was gonna get back in. I did not jump out of the car. Um, okay. Out, out of the car. Of the <laughs> okay. Oh, um, don't, don't you dare. Hmm? Don't you hurt Isa. <laughs> I'm gonna need everybody on top of the hang van. I'm gonna uh -huh. need the hang van. Allow Gorgug to roll constitution saves for the hang van, because okay. you work on it and Great. build it. And okay. all people within the hang van, okay. I need constitution mm. saving throws. And we okay. roll this with advantage and with bless. Yeah. Advantage and bless, yep. Advantage okay, so and you've bless, got, 
You've got the constitution save, so there's no deck save involved. Oh, yuck. Yuck. I'm going to use a luck point because I rolled so poorly. Ooh. OK. So the hangman got a 13. OK, that's save. way better. Yeah, that's not great. You got throw them out. Throw them out. Toss them out. Get them out of there. Get them out of there. I'm using my bardic as well. Not too bad. 24 yep. for Fig. Hell yes. Uh, um, use... Also, please roll and just note down on with, with like pencil real quick uh, any of your allies or conjurations. Can I, read for, can I roll for Isaf? Oh, roll for fuck, the yep. allies and conjurations. Don't use that one. You're going to kill her. <laughs> Okay. Oh. oh my god, what is going on with my rolls? Oh, just use new dice. Did you roll to see who was hot and who was... Uh, yes! Right. Are, you, is he, oh, are you about no. to sing a song? <gasps> I think Brent's gonna sing a song. I might go down uh, anyway. Don't worry, guys, I'll come, <laughs> I'll oh, save yeah. us. 38, 41, 47, 51, 58. Right. ASAP's gonna be okay, right? Hey, I already watched Squeam die today. I can't absolutely. Is Squeam dead? Is Squeam dead? <laughs> is absolutely Are we sure dead. that Squeam didn't just need to go home? Yeah, it kind of felt like <laughs> Squeam was like, I'm done. Let me know if you rolled under a 19. I long. did not. I'm a, a, I did, and also Hangman and me, uh, Gorga. Hangman and Gorga. And Adine did. Adine and all of the dust methods. Do I have to roll for Boggy as well? Esaf rolled a 19 on the die. Yeah. Let's go. Ooh, Esaf. OK, <laughs> Boggy makes it. Boggy makes Boggy. it. OK, so Adine, Gorgug, Hangvan, all methods fail. Kristen? 19. 19? 21. 21, OK. Adine, Gorgug, the Hangvan, and the Mephits take 61 points of sonic oh damage. Oh my god, I have one hit point left. Oh, you are kidding me! No, wait, I'm down. Okay. I already no. took those 10 damage. Okay, oh. um, everyone else takes 30 points uh -uh. of sonic damage. Uh -oh. Additionally, when an affected creature succeeds on a saving throw made against a spell or magical effect that allows it to take only half damage, it instead takes no damage as it succeeds you. on the saving throw. Thank you. Huge! Thank you. Huge! Thank you. That was Circle totally going to be a concentration. You were going to kill Esau. You were going to kill Esau. hex concentration and you didn't kill yeah. No! <laughs> We've come a long way from Ice Feast, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I bought the book! <laughs> I bought the fucking book! Ribbon dance this motherfucker! Um, uh, Gorgug's wow. just like, nice um, guys. Uh, <laughs> so let me, let, me be, let me be clear. Wait, What's that? do I have dodge? Wait, but I already had advantage, so it doesn't matter. Dodge is only on ta attacks, and this is a saving Fuck. throw. Fuck, god damn. Um, bless, bless would work for anyone that has bless on. No, I, it, with bless and advantage, rolled a nine. It was nasty over it was, here. It was nasty. It was nasty. really rough. Um, and then okay. every single one of my so, other rolls it was really bad. Nasty. You guys, it was Give really nasty. It was Fabian level nasty. Um, Kristen, rude. So I loved it. I fucking um, loved it. Boggy and Esaf would, would be obliterated at that damage and instead are saved. Can you describe what Kristen's magic oh, looks like in this yeah. moment? Yes. Uh, Kristen is like at the very end of the yerba mate protein shake, where it's just like all sand, and she she like doesn't grimace, kind of like guys when they like drink whiskey, <laughs> just like closes it, sees this like crazy sonic attack coming, and just kind of like, like kind of flexes a little bit, like kind of looks down, and is like, damn, I'm getting bigger by the day. Um, <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> and then, and I just kind of, I reach whoever's feet I can touch. I, I do just kind of like reach, and I'm going, you guys are doing a great job. You guys are doing such a good job. The idea that your divine magic now comes from how swell you're getting. <laughs> It's so funny. You hear a muffled with your earpods of Cassandra being like, and if you want any night magic or anything that would... <gasps> oh, that's good. I think I'm good. I just... Oh, my God. I don't know. I'm just kind of doing my own thing right now. I'm just kind of doing my own thing. <laughs> sure. my earpods do you, do you want me to theme myself more around, like, shakes or smoothies? No, or? my, th my uh, podcast is like, and if you wake up and get natural sunlight when in your eyes within 20 minutes, uh, it would really help. <laughs> You stay motivated throughout the day. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Uh, truly unbelievable, actually. Um, oh I was drinking whiskey is going to stick with me. Yeah. yeah. You're just like, that's good. <laughs> the idea of strength being yeah. able to finish the end yeah. of a protein smoothie without wincing. I love a drink that's also a dad. So, Adine does go down. I go so, down. Uh, Adine goes down. We're going to get you back up, girl. Um, I'm going to, Boggy. 
uh, and and Moggy no, are both. No, Moggy does not go anywhere, bitch. Yeah. Moggy cannot take damage mm -hmm. and Let's go. is not a concentration. Um, spell. I'm going to need a DC 15 dexterity saving throw from Gorgug and Fig. Okay. And I can do these with advantage. Yep. Okay. And this is a saving throw, so I can add the plus. Uh, I yeah. got like a 23. Hell yeah. I got a 15 exactly. 15. Fig and Gorgug. As Adine gets blasted by the sun, the, you see that the night Europe just goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. It opens a hole in like a membrane in the bottom of its flat body. And you just hear the psychic emanations of darkness beyond life and sonic energy, like the rupturing of your very realm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Adine gets blasted and taken out. All of the methods vanish as the sonic wave uh, no. hits them all. Um, however, dry um, my dry guys. Uh, the dry guys. The, dr <laughs> the dry, <laughs> the dry guys. Dry guys. <laughs> um, uh, at the same exact instant as Adon goes to fly off the roof, Gorgug and Fig each reach out and grab Adon by the jacket and keep her from going off the edge. Uh, I'm uh, holding like a little enamel pin. <laughs> um, uh, oh, this is cool. Uh, Gorgug, you take that. How's Gorgug? You take that sonic damage as well. I was full health, so I'm at sixty. Damn. Okay. okay. Copy that. The okay. hang van is currently at 65 HP out of 150. Ooh. So the hangman is bloody. You see all of the glass in the windows is shattered. The engine is making a weird noise. <laughs> Adine is down. One of your sigilists is down. Things are looking dire. Gorgog, how do we heal the hangman? Uh, we take it to a shop <laughs> for three to four days, depending <laughs> on Brent what how busy this they guy. Are. Yeah. But did we hit our mishap threshold? You did hit your mishap threshold. Okay. Murph! Uh, I'm gonna need a constitu I'm gonna need a constitution oh saving throw. Uh, the DC for this is well you so the Hayman took 61 points of damage. So the DC is gonna be 30 on a constitution saving throw. With my con. With your con. And I can con. do this with <laughs> advantage or no? Um, with, with due to the that spell. Oh yeah, this is yeah, this is a magical effect, so you can do this with advantage. Come out. Okay. Okay, we like that. Oh, we like that. It's not gonna be 30, uh, but a dirty 20. We're gonna roll a luck check. One is body, two is wheels, three is engine, four is steering. Three is engine. Something breaks in the engine, you cannot. Can I oh, sorry, use yeah. my divination roll on that roll? Uh, if you replace one of your d20s with a d4 roll right now, you can. Pass. Okay. Um, uh, so the wheels would have slowed you down. What happens to the engine is something busts. You are going to gas it every single round. In other words, you hear like the brake okay. line go. The van can't stop right now. Okay. okay. Uh, Interesting. All right. All right. It's just kind of like speed. The movie Speed? Yeah, yeah. sure. sure. Yeah. I love yeah. Speed. It's like Speed. <laughs> Kristen loves Kristen. Speed. Kristen Teen Speed. Uh, you hear <laughs> the engine whining. The Night Yorb has just dropped the Elven Oracle. Gorg is badly oh. injured. The Yorbies are closing ah. in. As they do so, you hear from the distance. <laughs> and you hear a noise going, hey kids, did you save me some breakfast? It's Balthazar and Duggan McCann. Oh my yeah. God. Balthazar. Late as always, gang. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a real guys guy. Where yeah. you're like, none of us understand how they can't see through it. They think you're so cool. Um, a cow. Really tricked them. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Balthazar, a grizzled veteran, and Duggan McCann, a centaur cowboy, begin to charge <laughs> through the expanse. Oh, thank God. Just to let anyone on this battlefield. <laughs> Hey, you shoot that? six bullets and you shoot six more. Hey! Pow, 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 pow. Doug and McCann empties his revolvers into the sky. Back in. But also shoot the bad guys, yeah. We're gonna go, yeah, Balthazar and Doug and McCann are gonna go. Yeah. Uh, what's going on up there? Did somebody show up? <laughs> yeah, Balthazar and Duggan did. Oh, yes! <laughs> did you did you put in your coffee order with them? No. Oh. 
Oh, we, I didn't know anyone was making a run. <laughs> oh, we got the Cortado. <laughs> Add down from prone. That's not what a Cortado is. <laughs> I would have gotten a tea-based Cortado. So Doug and McCann uh, and Balthazar rush in. Your allies, your beloved allies <laughs> from this great Night Orb adventure. Uh, Doug and how are the kids? <laughs> uh, the kids, I'll tell you what. <laughs> if you like a hard, stiff drink, then you better go. <laughs> Oh, he's a guy. He got he he's got older since guy. the last time we saw him. <laughs> <laughs> Balthazar is like Balthazar is here. Who's this sort of okay. suave, you know, great silver fox veteran who goes like, "Don't get Doug and started on his kids." <laughs> well, those freeloaders. No more. Duggan is blasted. He's really drunk on the battlefield. His kids are He's in college. He's just like whatever now. Um, and you see, uh, you see, Balthazar uh, is going to rush up from Duggan uh, and just wait by the side of the road right here and holds a hand out like he's going to grab the van oh, as it goes by. We're only gunning it. We don't have gunning it. We don't have brakes anymore, Balthazar. <laughs> you, you see, he says, "You took the brakes off." Hey, this group took the brakes off a long time ago. Oh. Hey! Now be careful, though. I, I lean out the other window like this. Like, I'm gonna, <laughs> You're gonna get him? Uh, incredible. Uh, no ability for the hangman to slow down. You hear Zafriel say, guys, it feels pretty bad in here. Um, and okay, what are you gonna do about it? Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm in a gem, so I'll probably be chill, but I'm worried about you My guys. My dad's been in a lot of gems. Wow, <laughs> sick, and I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you see the night you're pulling ahead as the slack goes totter and totter and a giant jump up ahead of you as, as you begin to pursue. Question for the blindness. Does that go away when the methods go away? I don't believe so. It's not a concentration those? spell. It's actually not a spell. It's blinding it's breath. It's an effect. Okay, so those Yorbies are effectively taken out of combat okay. because this combat is is in a, a chase. So blind, they can't pursue you and they're just left in the dust. Hell yeah. I did something, guys. I did something. It's <laughs> it was good. I was good. Please believe me. I was good. Adeline's yeah, murmuring in her sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Which one? Which Adon? They're all. They're all murmuring. They, they all they're say. All... They all follow my exact movements. Uh, Riz Gukak, you are next to act. Oh boy. Okay. Does um, out of character. Do, does the night yorb look like it's uh, it's it's healed up at all or anything? Yeah. How would it look after the forty damage that I did? Fig put it. I would say uh, solidly under bloodied. Right, it's looking strong and vital, but it's having a one of the most terrible days it can remember. God. It's a vulture. Okay. Yeah, I know. Please. Oh. <laughs> That's probably the real. That's rude, Rick. <laughs> That's straight up rude. Rick knows. Um, oh, and why? Okay, so th there is still one person there though chasing us, or are they out? Are the there's one on this side. We're flanked. Maybe. Okay. We're flanked. Are they? Are they? Both no, those are those are the guys from before that you did not run over, who this, are keeping abreast of the hand. This but guy you they... did a lot of damage to. Already. Yes, he's very he's very very wounded. Okay, so I should just get rid of that dude. You uh, can shoot the vulture, but that seems. I really at least yeah, investigate the vulture. Right? vulture. What if the vulture? The vulture is oh, okay. like the night you were. Yeah, I'm gonna attack. Yeah. Mm, I'm gonna resist attacking the vulture. This is me, Zach, saying night you were. Uh, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna attack the guy that I already hurt. Go for it. Give me an attack roll. Okay, so I guess I'll do my little move of hiding first. Hell yeah, go for it. Um, and that's a 22 to hide. Great. Uh, and then I will pop out, uh, pop out from the uh, position of the pedals, and uh, that's a 20 to hit. 20 hits. Great. Yeah. Yeah. And I will yeah. do all my damage. Go for it. Uh, 23 damage. You blast that Yorbi in the chest. Oh, yeah, yeah. I nice. remember the Night Yorb. And uh, he, <laughs> No, don't say that. Uh, Night Yorb. The thing is over it. Toast, blam. That's action, bonus action from Riz. A little yep. sad. You all see at the end of Riz's turn, Balthazar with a hand up, uh, makes eye contact with you, Fabian, in the back racing up and says, Dawdling again? What, are we back in Silver? Oh, come on, Big B. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> hey, I've seen the blah, blah, and the Night Yorb's tail grabs Balthazar no! and whips no! him up into the air. Whoa! Uh, this bull's ready to buck! Uh, you never and... gave me your chili recipe! <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you go ahead and blue tack Balthazar to the end of the Night Yorb's uh, tail? Oh. 
Oh, I just snapped uh Balthazar right in half. Yeah. Uh, just put the blue tack on his back and then and, you know, he's not he's being held from the midsection. God, he's hot, dude. He's so <laughs> hot. He's hot been hot this whole time. I mean, of course. So. Balthazar goes, don't worry about me, Haas. Take care of business. I'll take care of the night, Yorb. Hey, you got it, Big B. Don't uh, say it, Matt. Night Yorb heals it. five hit points. Oh! Uh, uh, Balthazar. Sorry. <laughs> Balthazar forgot. Uh, your face, your face when you go, ah. You gained five hit points. <laughs> uh, sorry, there's nothing I could do. Um, still bloodied, still bloodied. Fabian, that's your turn. Uh, well, <laughs> I think I'm gonna navigate through all the blood and bodies that uh, you know, Riz is leaving in his wake um, as I desperately try and catch up. I'm gonna use the hangman's full movement to hopefully catch up to this, to the hang fan. Okay. Uh, and I'd like to pull up alongside on the back right of the hang fan and uh, it, is this, so this person is not blinded. They're in our business? Yes, they're in your business. Fully competent. Great. I'm going to attack their mount uh, yeah, with uh, Fandrangur. Fandrangur, the sword of the elfin kings. Uh, go for it, Fabian. Great. Uh, that's going to be a 32 to hit. Oh. <laughs> 32 <laughs> hits. OK, 32 misses. Um, a 16. Wow. Okay. On the mount. On the mount. Um, 32 and a 16 both hit. Great. We're going to make this first one uh, add a superiority die, make it a trip attack. Let's go. Ooh. As much as I can do. <laughs> uh, and on top of that, I will blow, I will burn a second level spell to add 2d6 uh, from Fandrangor uh, that are radiant. Uh, oh, yes. So Great. 7, 17 plus. Nine equals, there it is. Uh, Fabian, not only do you murder this giant bug, but you also, uh, it trips under the, the skill of your blade. Describe it for me what it looks like. Uh, I stabbed the mount hard. I'm gonna roll a dex save for this rider as his mount gets swiped out from under Bam. him. 19, he no. makes it. You see that he clings to the side of the hangman as his mount whoa, goes out from under him, but you have a second attack. Oh, I used it on, I didn't know, I, I, I rolled both attacks. To okay, start. and did all that damage. Yes, gotcha. that. Copy that. Oh, that was only one attack's worth of damage, but I had rolled both attacks. Okay, so the second attack would also hit this Yorbi that like leaps from the mount to cling to the side of the- Great, I'll use the damage on him if that's all right. Cool, yeah, what's the damage? Let's see, we'll bring a first level spell. Uh, how you feel about uh, uh, 20 points of damage? Ooh, Ooh uh, you slash it. He is looking badly injured uh, as he exposes his back to you hanging onto the side of the moving van and you score across him. He is looking on death's door. Actually, yeah, you can, yeah. Blue tack him to the side of the van. Great. Right. Um, and then and then the other, the bug is gone. Great. Uh, and can I use my movement to jump? I know it's crazy. I know, hey, I know it didn't work last time. Can I use my movement to jump into the van? Oh, Lord. Give me an acrobatics check, DC 15. Okay. <clears throat> it's gonna okay. be okay. Okay. I'm glad that, yeah. That's gonna be all I'm right. I'm glad that I'm we're all back. I'm switching the I'm dice. I'm glad that we're all back. Okay, there we go. That is a, um, a 21. Oh! 21, <laughs> hell yeah. I was trying yes. to read I've your reaction. By an eight. <laughs> I jump in, Isaf, crawling over seats. Isaf, are you all right? <laughs> Isaf, are you okay? Uh, let me go ahead and give you your mini I'll as you get back in the switching van. Switching minis. Switching minis out. Actually, keep these with you if you want. Keep, okay, the, keep them in the little side of your, uh, uh, you know, because you're gonna be switching. I'm gonna be switching. Isaf turns to you and says, Master Seacaster, what a daring gambit. <sighs> well, we're here saving the world so that there's a world for the two of us after all of this is over, after we deal with that thing. Can I do an inside check on Isa? Yeah. What's going on here? Yeah, Isaf mourned Fabian <laughs> too quickly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is a, a, a. Oh, that's really good. That's a 28. 28. I don't. Uh, I would never believe that Isaf. In your in your night orb adventure, Isaf came aboard and tends to just reflect whatever energy they're getting. They're a mirror. <laughs> oh, okay, right? great. So, okay, great. So, so kind of so, code switchy. Like. So what happened is is. 
like whatever energy you project onto the mirror, she kind of projects back. And Fabian just gave a lot of flirty energy to this mirror right away. And the mirror went, I guess this is what this guy wants. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. that checks out. That's, that's um, like not nefarious. Fabian but, narcissist mythology. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? Incredible. Anything else from uh, Fabian? Yeah, I mean, I'm back with Isaf, and that's everything that matters to me in the world. So, uh, great turn, all in all. Great turn, all <laughs> in all. Hard for a mirror. <laughs> hard for your own reflection. Yeah. It's a soft, it's a soft focus with an 11. With an 11. Yeah. Just a, just a semi-chuck. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. It doesn't look exactly like me. <laughs> After your turn, Fabian, the Night Yorb whips its tail around and moves Balthazar to the underbelly of its knightly body. Oh, no, Balthazar! Uh, Balthazar! Balthazar says. <laughs> I don't think that. Ah, 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 it's so cold! And Balthazar is gone. No! no! Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> the Night York goes uh, and continues to fly through the sky. Uh, Balthazar vanishes into the darkness. He's gonna take care of his parrots. <gasps> Gosh, they live so long, too. <laughs> parrots live so um, long. We're six months uh, old. Doug and goes, Dan, you straight to hell, you big fish. Um, and uh, you continue moving along. Balthazar is no more. Balthazar is gone. Yeah. Leaving, oh, a, out for leaving a litter of six month old parrots. <laughs> That's gonna be a, a long time. Him to the that Elven is Island. going yeah. to be <laughs> the Yorbies. The Yorbie on the van is going to attempt an athletics check to get up. Uh, he rolls a natural one, falls down. Uh, rolls a six, crushed by the van. He is gone. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what was your name? Uh, I think all of you in this moment where Balthazar is gone, this guy gets sucked under the van. There's just a big pause for a moment. All you hear, your like heartbeats in your ears. In the distance, you hear Squeam just going, as like your bees descend on Squeam. Um, uh, and in this moment of just strangeness, all of you hear a bling, 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 bling on your crystals, uh, on all of your crystals. All of you have gotten a notification from the admin's email account from the Eggford Adventuring Academy saying, what a great end to orientation week ahead of this next wonderful year at the Eggford Adventuring Academy. Wait, you, what? We missed it? Well, orientation week is for new students, but you're realizing that you're in the red waste and basically there's, uh, you have like three days before the start of your junior year. Mm. A I just kind of can't really look at this right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna throw my phone <laughs> under the wheel of the car. <laughs> you throw it. Um, you throw it under the wheel and it bounces dum, 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 behind you, and you see Squeam picks it up and turns it into a saber of light. <laughs> uh, He's so much resourceful. Better use yeah. for it. Okay, rushing from behind the rocks. No. Your bees. More Yorbies come to attack. These ones are gonna rush out here. This one runs inside his fence. And following them, riding giant floating tentacled heads oh, what? Uh, oh, are no. more Yorbies that become flying out. Oh my God, freaky. Uh, I hope that this guy is on a recumbent bug. Yes. <laughs> it's actually much better for your bag. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my God. Okay. This guy jumps up on here, right, he's in action, and they're going to attack. Uh, one of them in the back that's riding one of these giant floating aberration heads that are called Yathmags, um, calls out and says, Did you say Yasqueen? Yeah. Yathmags. 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 It's nowhere. That's similar. Sorry, I'm sorry. I had this It sounds like you just said Yasqueen. I don't know. just like it. Yathmags. Uh, Did you say yeah, Murph gets it? Murph gets it. Murph gets the struggle. As a guy who has to make up a lot of fucking yeah. names for shit, I know you get where it's I'm coming the from. Yeah, for me. It's the yeah. <laughs> the hang van, once again. Uh, that is a hit. From which one of the ask me? That's a hit. So it's two hits. Okay. I don't know what kind of damage they do. So That's I'm like, a do I miss. Bars? 
No crits though, and that damage threshold's pretty helpful. Great. But I rolled two eights on the damage. So this the hangman's gonna take 24 points of damage. Okay, okay. not a mishap though. Not a mishap. What not were we at? Time. I thought we were down. 65. We're... Okay. I'm and then minus 24. 41 HP on the hangvan. Uh, they're also all going to chant all together, <clears throat> we love the night yorb! Oh, and the night yorb is gonna God. heal some HP. Does anyone have some like silence no, to cast like, on him so, so that he can't out. freaking hear his own? Freaking name. Uh, You're but, but, with yourself, Night Yorb. The Night Yorb pops back above bloodied. Still very, very injured. And bloodied uh, is the status we need him at to yes. do the okay, Yes, yes, so yes. Okay. I'm gonna need two drivers dexterity checks for the ants that are going to attack. Great. The, the big old bugs. Um, uh, so I have disadvantage on these now. You canceled out or? Oh no, it's a reroll. Oh, we do potentially have a reroll. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Six, oh wait, and we have, does bless, bless saving throws? These are non-magical, and bless is not on the van. Okay. Right, 16. 16, okay, succeeds, Ooh. roll again. <sighs> 16. Nice. Awesome. Oh, nice. Okay, so only 10 nice. damage to the hangman. The hangman's at 31 Holy out of 150. Shit. 31. Who is she? 31 <laughs> out of 150. Okay. Um, and then the Yath Mags are going to go. Um, <laughs> they are going to target the driver. They're going to target <gasps> Riz. Uh, so you see both of these heads just open and go, because uh, they have no real lungs or to create bigger vocal cords, so there's just sort of a slapping wet noise in oh, the so back of their- they can't be saying, if they have no lungs, they can't be saying the- But yeah, let me be clear. The Yath Mags are more like the ants than they are like the Yorbies. Yeah. Okay, okay. Is this an attack or is this an attack roll? A disintegration effect is coming towards you. <gasps> disintegration effect or spell? It is an effect, it is magical, but not a spell. And not an attack roll. I'm gonna need two dexterity saving throws. Okay. From... These are... These and are... these are not the, these are not the van, this is Riz having to okay. make this. So that's pretty good for me. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, and then uh, bless. Did you ever use that silvery barbs advantage I gave you? Um, no, I haven't. Um, I should probably do that. Uh, I think it's on the next one, so I should use it on this one anyway. Uh, okay, that makes it, uh, yeah, t uh, 32. Nice. Okay, 32, uh, oh, and, the, and the other save And then well? the other save. Ooh, great. Um, uh, 26, 28. Hell yeah. Uh, 90 points of force damage that you do not take half of because uh, uh, wow. that you do not take half of. Um, oh. Circle of power, bro. <laughs> yes. It's circle actually about the power. fucking circle of power. And actually, all it's of you. About the core. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and all of you are in the circle of power with me. Okay. That's right. I like. I, I pat okay. your shoulders yeah. like yeah. way too hard. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, Riz. Yeah, Riz. You hear a little voice in your ear going like. This would be a great time to uh, talk to them that the power is actually coming from a uh, god. If any, if any of them wanted to come by your church, you know, it just feels like they don't. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to be pushy, but you know. I just make a mental note to like have a really intense conversation with Cassandra <laughs> when I get back. <laughs> Incredible. Um, uh, we are going to move. It is once again the lair action. We turn it over to the lair action for all of you. Okay. okay. Okay, I think I have to gun it because of the yeah. engine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have gun to gun it. it. <laughs> See if you can get us under there because, oh, yeah, so he's freaking not, at, he's not bloodied. I will say, if you, have, can hurt him. if you have any proficiency with tinkerers, tools, or other stuff like that, you, oh, could, yeah. you could, if you do, you could try to mend the hangman at least partially. I have thieves tools? Yeah, I don't okay. Know that. Rad. Um, I have. Very high thieves tools, plus 14. I'm gonna say you add your intelligence modifier to this roll, and if you get 10, it's a D8. If you get 15, it's 2D8. If you get uh, 20, it's 3D8 going up as high as you can roll. So I'm, I'm just adding my intelligence, I'm not doing my thieves tools? No, do your thieves tools for the roll, and then when you heal, you'll ah, add your ah, intelligence. Got it, got it, got it, okay. Come in. Okay, um, 22. 22, go ahead and roll, that's gonna be 3D8 plus your int mod. Cool. 17 total. Hell yes. Hangman, back at 48. So you hear Zafriel going, I don't know what you're doing down there, brother, but it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Fix me, brother. <laughs> Fix me. I don't know what you're right, doing down the there, brother, but you're fixing I, me. I put in Kristen's headphones <laughs> and keep working. You <laughs> feel <laughs> Riz, take your headphones out. Hey! Okay, um, that's one car action. Um, any other car actions up here? 
I think we have a question, which is, yeah. are we are we now, I know that he's not bloodied, but are we within range to try to sigil? You're 35, so it's got to get down. To okay. It's got to get down, it's gotta get down to five. It's got to be five feet away. Okay, so oh, never okay. mind. Never and mind we're now. gunning it right now, so. You're gunning it, yeah, it's true. So I will use my, uh, use my your, action to. Use your free action. The lasso. And it's still rolling with disadvantage. Wow, you dodge a nat 20. Uh, you got to beat a 21. And I can do this with advantage, right? Because yes, it's okay. reckless. Can I? Uh, yes. Uh, I got a 21 yes. plus 5, 26. Yes. 26. Yes. Uh, it is 30 feet away. Yes. Uh, uh, as, it, as you reel it in, Fabian, you're in. Uh, you guys are both. You guys are both passengering or windowing right now. Yeah, yeah. I would say I'm. I'm window. Cool, I'm window. cool, cool. Up on top. No, no, there's no. I don't think any night yard effects are active right now. Nothing you, yeah. you could. I would allow you to see if you could do anything about Balthazar. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, go ahead and give me an attack. Try, uh, you're just making a spell attack and trying to beat a DC 17. 13 plus nine, 22. Um, Balthazar, you got a litter of six month old parrots squawking for you. Do not okay. giving up. You can't put that on us. <laughs> yeah. You can't put that what on are us. What are we going to do with litter of parrots? parrots. <laughs> They'll outlive us, Balthazar. They're going to outlive it some of us. 90 years. You reach out, you summon the sigil. You see that the night yard goes, um, and a splat of inky darkness hits the road. Balthazar's shadow stretched out on the road with no Balthazar makes a f image like someone shrieking to the sky and sprints into the desert faster than light. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's what? running to his parrots. Have we seen him do that before? I pull out my compass. I think it's a beeline straight for the parrots. <laughs> <laughs> he must be an Echo Knight fighter. Incredible. Okay, that is the turn from the hang van. Esaf is going to give the help action once again to Riz for oh, your next turn. Ooh. Oh, sorry, you're back in there, right? Esaf's gonna give you the help action. No, no, it's you know, give it, give it to the ball. You sure? Yes, I can give it to anyone you want. I think I, well, I kind of pop out a lot, so yeah, it's okay. You've been doing yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. You two do I'm whatever you want. Like that. Well, then let me be generous as well. Oh. Um, <laughs> and comes over and just kind of like thunks like into your head a little car? bit as a floating <laughs> mirror. <laughs> I'd do anything to get out of this car. <laughs> <laughs> and that is going to be figure out Faith's turn. Okay. Yeah. We still want to keep working, chipping away at this guy. So I'm gonna just try to Eldritch blast him and then healing word my girl. <clears throat> that is a 22 to hit on the Hell first yeah. one. And a nat one. But I'm going to luck check it. Hell yes. Luck check it. That is a two. Oh, okay. Okay. So I only hit once. What is that? That's, I think that's a six. Yeah. Six, seven. How convenient. 16 damage. And then I'm going to bonus action healing word. Adine, Adine, oh. you back up. Thank God. With uh, nine. Hell yeah. I'll um, take it. Fig, at the end of your turn, I am going to need everybody here to roll a wisdom saving throw. Mm. Yeah. With bless. And with an advantage, right? Because yeah. of the. Oh, uh, with advantage, yes. Oh, with advantage? Because it's a spell? Yeah. Jeez, hey. Louise. Uh, hey. That is a dirty one. Wow. 21. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. 12. 12. 16. 16. 9, 20. 15. Love it. So, anyone under a 17, which is Fabian. Actually, I have a, I have a Bardic. Okay. I'm use the Bardic. So, I need to get a two or higher, please. Two. Okay, <laughs> not that two. Ugh. You got that two. What was that? That was 17. 17. Riz, driving this thing. The Night Yorb surges for it is now only 30. It uh, oh. surges here. Oh, oh no. It surges forward, pulling the van behind it. The van's going to make a jump. I'm gonna need a dexterity save from you, which you will not roll with disadvantage because you made your wisdom save, but go ahead and give me the dexterity check, the dexterity save. Ooh, okay. The DC for this is 22. Okay, okay, that's You got it, you got it, baby. I got it, we got this, we got this. You've had it. We got this. You've always had it. You were born with it. Okay, and then I can use bless because is this? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I right now I've got a nineteen, so three or four does it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm sorry, Murph. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Here we go. Oh. We're gonna use the little beans. Yeah, we're gonna use little beans. Little beans. Three or four does it. Murph's little beans. Murph's little beans. Murph's little beans. 
Oh, it's a two. two. No. It felt like a four for a hot it second. Really did. Too. It really did. The beans were in the way. Oh, yes. The, beans. the damn beans threw the weight off. Oh. <laughs> it is a weighted. It's oh, absolutely it's weighted. Unbalanced. Um, here's what happens. Riz, you dodge the fear effect. So you don't roll disadvantage, but still, as the night, you, you're still gassing it. You can't stop gassing it. The van takes this jump, and even though you have good control of it, it's just that you're so airborne for so long that a slight spiral is gonna have you land on your side. Um, uh, you watch the night, you're whipping its tail around, and in the distance, you see a tall tower, and you hear chanting, Night, no, no. As that begins to happen, you see that um, there is an arch in the distance, rock towers. This guy leaps up to kick this over. <gasps> and as he does so, welcoming his own death, this begins to fall into your path as he looks to jump ah! into the wheels of the van going, Nayyob, I love you! The van takes off with the with the rock coming to crash it, twisting sideways. The night you're pulling it ahead, 30 feet of slack left. Um, Kristen, you save on the fear effect. Um, Fabian, what? Where do you go in your heart as dread takes over? Now, if I'm immune to being frightened, <gasps> then yes. you are not frightened at all. Yes. Um, uh, uh, yes. wait, describe it as that's your father's cool, eye patch. Dude, uh, that's yeah, yeah. Cool. I think there's just an aura that's like, when things get tough, it's not fear. It's it's fucking. It's we, we bite down now. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's just more, my whole body goes tense uh, with uh, a desire to act. Adine, fear, what is, how do you feel as the fear takes hold? The panic attack rising in, in my chest. Yes, uh, you feel the panic attack rising in your chest, um, and I'm going to say that uh, as the battle continues, um, that we will bring that mechanic back into play. As the, as, the, as the frightened condition overwhelms. I suddenly realize I'm riding on the top of a van. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck what am, am I doing? doing? Gorgug. I beat it. You beat it. Yeah. So you're just holding onto the solar lasso, but you can feel this plan about to end horribly. As the, If the van lands on its side, I mean, the solar lasso is only as strong as the roof of the van. The night orb, if the van's not keeping pace, will just rip the lasso off and fly off into the fucking sky. As you feel the van tilting, Fig. I passed. You feel something. You look, the night orb twinkling, you've spent your whole summer chasing this. You know all of the things you've missed your whole summer vacation, all of your friends. Some of you had birthdays out on the road on this adventure, and yeah, there's lots of adventure, but all of you feel a tiredness in your bones, knowing that the reward for saving the world yet again will be going back to school and having another year of working just this hard forever. Fig, all of this work is about to be lost Deep within you, in your fiery heart, you feel something flickering. You've been holding on to a piece of magic for a long time. A flicker of <laughs> If you would take me, you know what you would save. And you smell something sour and curdled. Okay. If you reach to this source of magic, I will allow a chance to right the hang van and dodge the falling rock. I come from hell. We make deals with devils. I'm already fucking exhausted. I need this to be over. I'm yours. Adine and Gorgug, in all of the chaos, there is a flash of light, a kind of lemony, yellow, creamy light that flashes out over the hang van. The rock is boom, stopped in time and blasted away, and the hang van writes. It will land on its wheels as all of you hear a sickening gurgle from Fig's stomach. And that's all for this episode what of Dimension 20 Fantasy High. 
Tune in next week as we see what deal with what devil Figueroa Fey has made, and we see if we can catch the night uh. It's coming for us. <laughs> oh no. Aesop, you stay here. I don't want you in danger. Beauty like yours needs to be protected. Oh, some master, see, it's go time, let's go. Is it? I don't, I shouldn't. <laughs> no. I just thought maybe I'd steal it. No, no. Oh, God. Oh, no, Tristan, please, please <laughs> give me your earbuds, right. please. I, I, there will be plenty of time for that after we defeat the Night York. <laughs> Gregor, you good? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gorga, do you have your outfit picked out for the first day of school? Please don't. <laughs> I wouldn't pay you to lick the dust off my dick. Okay. Duggan. Duggan, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the night job. It was man. You didn't have to do it. You couldn't have had an ice cream. I <laughs> want you to go home. Doesn't it feel like our dice are shitting us? <laughs> Yeah, just look at me. Hit. <laughs> no, it's okay. Crit. Oh, shit. Don't look at me. <laughs> Who do I look like? I don't know. <laughs> Save Stay me. With me. Stay with me. You know, it's fun to yell at me because you can't yell at your own dice, and I get it. I do get it. <laughs> There's a lot going on, and I, you know, you're under a lot of pressure. <laughs> and you see a little ribbon of red and something like sharp move through her body. <gasps> I know. What? Can I roll a nat 20 and everything just goes away? Start over. Wake up from the terrible nightmare that Adine was having? Does no one respect the fact that it takes time to save the world? I don't yeah. trust you. <laughs> <laughs> You're just... Good looking out, Beardsley. You gotta stay awake here in the dome, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>